In New November 2020, I introduced a motion adopted by the House of Commons calling on the Canadian government to make a decision on Huawei, on Huawei's involvement in Canada's 5G network within 30 days and to develop a robust plan to combat China's growing foreign operations in Canada and its increasing intimidation of Canadians living in Canada. Several months later in February, I introduced another motion which the House also adopted, recognizing Beijing's actions towards Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims as a genocide. In May this year, I learned that a PRC diplomat working out of the PRC consulate in Toronto had, since 2020, been gathering information to further target me and my family in Hong Kong. Last month, I learned I was the target of a disinformation campaign in May of this year on the Chinese social, on the Chinese language social media platform WeChat. The Canadian Department of Foreign Affairs concluded that Beijing's role in this information, this disinformation operation was highly probable. But my experience is but one case of Beijing's interference in Canada. Many, many other cases go unreported and unnoticed, and the victims suffer in silence. This has serious implications for the approximately 4% of Canadians, some 1.7 million Canadians of Chinese descent. Uh, just a couple of questions, and I yield to my colleagues for any questions they might have. Uh, when you talked about closer cooperation, uh, are, you, are you persuaded that we are cooperating now? Is it as robust as it should be? Uh, and what is being left undone and unaddressed? Well, thank you. Uh uh, Chairman Smith for that question. I, I think there are a number of ways in which we can uh, cooperate in a better way. So for example, uh, the United States has long had a Foreign Agents Registry Act since 1938. Australia more recently introduced one in, I think in 2019. The UK just adopted one two months ago in July. Uh, the Government of Canada has announced that it's taking a look at introducing one in Canada to give law enforcement a tool to prosecute Beijing's agents operating on our own soil. And so I think there could, one way in which we could better cooperate is ex exchange information on legislative best models um, to see what works and what doesn't. Um, we have similar uh, judicial systems uh, in our democracies. Um, so that's one area of cooperation. Another area, for example, is how do we use sunlight and transparency to counter foreign interference threat activities? Our security agencies and services, our experts have told us that often foreign interference, transnational repression doesn't rise to the level of a criminal prosecution. Um, and so one way to counter it is to make it public, to go public with uh, the intelligence, to tell members of the public, members of Congress, members of Parliament, here are, here's what exactly is going on, uh, to arm citizens and elected officials with the information they need to protect themselves. So best practices on how to do that during elections, in between elections. So those are just two examples of where I think we could more closely cooperate. 